Have you noticed that when we put water in the cooler and put it in the refrigerator, after a while it turns to ice? Wow! Do you know why it happens? Let's learn about the states of matter and what happens with ice. Welcome to the fun world for kids! Hello little friends! We already learned in our video about matter that matter is everything that has a mass, a weight and occupies a space. Now, we are going to learn with a very easy example the different states of matter. The liquid state, the solid state and the gaseous state. Here we have a jug with water. This water, guys, is in state liquid. This is the first state of matter and is characterized by adapting to the shape of the container that contains it. For example, this water has the shape of a jug. But if we pour it into a long tube like this one, it will now have an elongated shape. Do you see it? In this state, guys, the particles that compose it are a little separated and can move. Also, their volume is always the same. But, do you know what happens when we put water in the freezer? Yes, it freezes very well. This is the second state of matter and is called solid. It is characterized because when matter is in a solid state, it always maintains its same shape and weight. For example, if I take the ice out of the cooler, it looks the same as how it did inside it and weighs the same. That happens, guys, because in this state, the particles that compose it are close together and very ordered. But, what if we leave the ice in a hot pot for a while? The ice goes from a solid state to a liquid state again and once the pot is very hot, it seems that this water disappears. What? It does not disappear, guys. What happens is that it goes from a liquid state to our third state, gas. And that's when we see steam coming out of the pot. That steam is the same water. What happens is that due to the intense heat of the pot, it becomes a gas. This state is characterized because its volume and shape can change and occupy all the space of the container that contains it. Like when we inflate a balloon, the air, which is in a gaseous state, occupies the entire balloon. This happens because the particles that compose it are so separate, so they move everywhere. How interesting, right? And remember, all matter has properties and these properties help us to know how it looks, what shape it has, how it smells, how it tastes and how it feels. Thank you for watching our video. Did you like what you learned? Subscribe and find many more videos so you can learn while having fun. You can also watch this video in Spanish on our channel Mundo Divertido de Niños. The link is in the description. Lots of love. Bye-bye.